Welcome back to the channel. First off, I want to thank you guys for all the love and support you guys showed on the last video with Skana. I think that was one of the first outdoor cookups I ever did. And obviously we had Santa Monica Beach behind us. If you got friends that produce, go cook up somewhere random, bring two pairs of headphones. It really does get you inspired and just gives you a whole bunch of ideas. It's been a while since we've done some R&B on the channel. I've been listening to a whole bunch of Janae recently. So that's the type of beat I want to make. I am going to throw the music theory because I want you guys to still be able to learn from these at the end of the video. And I'm also also adding a new segment to this video so make sure to watch it all the way through so you can find out what that segment is enough talking let's go you know the vibes summer nights 2 recently came out collab bank with infinite so we're just about to start with some summer nights let's go ahead and just go right here at the top acoustic grand let's get this piano in here something easy to start with bring this up somewhere like that i kind of want to have the mix be pretty high and I'm going to just bring this down to 50%. Let's bring this BPM down to like 80 something. All right, let's get another sound. I kind of want to go for like some type of like pad or lead where it's just one note. I'll probably run it through the same processing that we have this on. And then we'll go back into Summer Nights 2. Bunch of good sounds in here. Maybe something like that. Oh, that might be fire. this over here what I say D sharp for this a gap and then what if we have it even more and then wait and then oh that's smooth all right let's run that so with these beats as I'm creating these R&B beats i like to leave room for the artist so i don't try to go too crazy you're adding melody but you're not adding all the melody you hear because a lot of those melodies that you're hearing is probably something that the artist is also going to use with their voice i'm trying to have just little pockets of melody but nothing too crazy unless you're making some r&b that isn't going to have a vocal on it go crazy that's kind of clean. Let's run with this one. So another classic E piano. So I was looking at the notes and we are actually in C sharp minor, not F sharp minor. Do is just go something like this. Bring this up an octave just to layer. This top note though, I'm actually gonna bring up one note in the scale. So right here is our major chord, but I'm gonna bring it up one note from here to here. Let's go like that. Over here, build another chord out. again and then the last chord over here we're just going to continue on summer nice too as you can see is this a summer nice two plug of course it is me and infinite just dropped it 70 presets perfect for west coast and r&b we're making r&b why not use it if you don't have summer nice one the first edition come on bro the sequel is number two both of these perfect for r&b and west coast both 70 presets and have the one shots link to it in the description let's get back to this beat all right now we need a lead make sure i'm on the correct one i am Ooh. Na, na. Do, 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 do. that was a horrible hum wait 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 okay okay i got it Oh, that's clean. Hold on. Dun. That could go crazy. Dun, dun. Okay, let's record that. Let's record that. Okay, let it play. I'm thinking somewhere around here. Like right here. Oh. <laughs> 
Let's hear that back. Come on. That might be it. This took it to a whole nother level, bro. Big Janae vibes. All right, Broken Hearts, Drum Kit, 8082. I love this 808 right here. Let's do Cut Itself. Let's also put it on like this. Perfect. All right. Root note. Up an octave. The reason, all right, the reason this works so well, when this happens, play off it. All right, so we have the do 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 melody happening right here, right? And the bass is pretty basic. It's just long notes here and here. What I decided to do was also do a little bit of a run right here with the bass before the lead takes over with the same run. And it's a push and pull, and the instruments are kind of sharing that rhythm as well as the change where your ear kind of catches something. So we hear it in the bass first, and we're like, okay, there's something happening. It's dum, dum, dum. And then it stops, goes back to basic rhythm, but then the lead takes over that part, right? So then maybe over on this part right here, you have like the vocal do something like that. And it's a nice push and pull with rhythm and like ear candy and just be like, whoa, hold on. Like, what was that? Let me rewind that. It's those parts that we really like in music, especially when it's like more of a basic part. And then like something crazy happens, changes to another instrument, something crazy happens back to basic. And it's like pulls you out, brings you back. And it's just, that's, that's why, at least to me, that this feels like it does. I want to get a vocal in here now. So definitely bringing up arcade c sharp major let's go into my favorite lines for this which is hooked i know i need to stop using it but i can't stop using it bro i don't care it just always sounds good All you gotta do is so i've obviously used that a million times you know what let's get some processing first just go with this line real quick let's get a little plate this one's cool we'll adjust all these in a second i also want to do portal which is also by output and then I want to do a delay. Mm, maybe ambient lake. Let's bring this down. You hear those textures in the back? Watch. Or not textures, but listen to the vocal after the main vocal plays. What Portal is going to do with the reverbs and delays. What we could do is take Edison. I'll show you in a second. But just listen, watch. Not that. This. All that stuff happening, right? So let's say you wanted just to record that. You can just throw an Edison at the end of this and record it. We're going to hear the whole beat, but Edison is only going to be picking up this channel and then all these plugins right here. So not that, all this right over here. Cool. All right, so now let's listen back to this. That's not what I want. I want all that there. So I'm gonna go like this. This is just a trick you could do. And now we're gonna have just like ambience, I guess you could say. Go like this, then all A, get it to like a decent level. Okay, see that we got that, right? Fade it out a little bit. And then what we're gonna do is have this be in the beat here. So let's go ahead and actually add a vocal to this now. So let's go back into arcade here. But let's go ahead and just throw this on here. This is just some EQ. You see me use this in a whole bunch of videos, taking out highs and lows, and a really big reverb. So this one should probably sound a little bit better.
If you haven't tried Arcade and you're interested in trying Arcade, I do have an affiliate link in the description which will give you a free trial. I earn a small commission from the affiliate link at no extra cost to you. If you're interested in trying it out, make sure to hit that link in the description. I want to get a guitar in here too. I'm hearing a guitar. Let's add that in real quick. I'm running so many different VSTs and stuff right now. Let me actually stop this from playing so I don't... <laughs> make my computer mad bro speaking of that i'm trying to do my tutorials in 4k i haven't yet i was about to get the 4k monitor but then i realized i don't have enough ram uh so i have to update the ram and then it would opened up just a whole rabbit hole on i don't know bro I, so i gotta figure that out but believe i will and we will get 4k tutorials going all right electric sunburst clean too clean rmb It's not like some red hot chili peppers or something. <laughs> all right, we need to throw this into, I don't know, number two maybe has all that reverb, I think. Ooh. I'm about to make some trap, hold on. All right, let's add some guitar in here. All right, I'm gonna just adjust these real quick, but we could get into the drums now. These two open hats right here are from Resupply. This kick is from the Doomed Multi Kit. And then these three are actually from a new R&B kit I'm working on. So more about that in another video, but let's go ahead and just place this snare. It's not the smooth like that. Portable was on three, right? Yeah. Let's throw the hi hats on there. Let's see if it does something cool. That's kind of going crazy, I'm not going to lie. Open hat. That's smooth. I'm gonna throw this one on here too, this snare right here, and just kind of let that do its own thing and find a spot for that. Cool. That's smooth. And it still has enough room for the artist, which is perfect. That's it. 
Peace Don. I wanted to add this short segment to my videos for a while now. I was just trying to figure out exactly what I wanted to do. So there's going to be these parts plus the theory parts at the end. So the main idea for these parts is going to be a random clip of inspiration, maybe even a quote or some advice I think that could be useful. So let's get straight into it. Your schedule means everything. Plan out your time and plan out your releases. Monday through Friday or Monday through Friday and Saturday and Sunday is the best way to do it. Plan all that out. You already know if you have work, if you work a job, you know the times you work. If you got to take care of kids, whatever you got to do, if you got school, I know that the audience goes from different types of ages. So everyone has different responsibilities in life, but the best way to get things done and really the only way to get things done, especially when you're trying to build a business or be full-time with producing is going to be scheduling. If you don't schedule things and you don't have a schedule and you don't have a visual, I had to write this out so I could see it. And I'll give you an example in a second, but if you don't have that, you're not going to get work done. You're not going to get anything done. You're going wake up. You're not going to know what to do for the day. You're going to go along, maybe make a beat, maybe kind of make a video and then boom, maybe you got to go to work or you got to do something or something comes up. And then the next day you get busy and then boom, 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 time goes by and nothing's getting accomplished. You have to schedule these things out and make room for it. Life is so much easier when you're scheduling it. And it's not scheduling it in like a bad way to where you have to be extremely strict to things. You can do that if you want to spend one hour and have a timer go off. I know a lot of people that do stuff like that. That. But all I'm saying with scheduling is just write out your week. Let's just say, make it easy. Monday through Friday. If you're going to school, cool. Write out the times you go to school. If you got like football practice or something, write that down. I'm going to go a little bit older. Let's say you got a full-time job. Maybe you have a kid or something. Write these times out and find the windows when you could spend on your music and on building your business. In these times is when you're going to plan your strategy and your content. For example, before I was able to go full time with producing, as I was building my YouTube channel, I actually had a full time job and a part time job at once. So I had two jobs and I was still building the channel. What I would do is split my days up. Let's say Monday, Monday before work or after work is only content. So I'm only recording content. I throw up OBS, throw up my camera and record YouTube content. I wouldn't think about editing. I wouldn't nothing. All I'm thinking about is recording these tutorials. Then Tuesday comes and I'm going to edit that video and schedule it for upload so it can release on Wednesday. With that strategy, I can drop one video video a week or even two videos a week because technically it's only two days of work. Now, will that schedule work for everybody? No, but I'm just saying that's what I was doing. So I was actually dropping two videos a week at this time. Monday, record, Tuesday, edit, and then I schedule it for Wednesday. Wednesday is a free open day. Wednesday, I would spend making loops, making beats, doing whatever else I need to do. Then Thursday, record, Friday, edit, Saturday, drop a video. This isn't the exact schedule. I'm just giving you an idea. So I was able to drop two videos a week. And then maybe on the other free day, I'm working on a product that I'm going to use inside my video. So now I'm starting to add things and get this going with the business. If I try to do all that in one day, it's not going to work. I'm not going to lie to you. If I tried to make a video, edit it before work, I'm going to get stressed out. Boom, 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 whatever it is. Schedule things out, schedule releases, schedule your content. I promise you without doing this, you're not going to be able to build the business you want to build. It is one of the most important things. And one of the reasons I was able to actually quit my job and go full time with producing in 2019. But before that, I was still building this YouTube channel up for like three or four years while working jobs. And towards the end, working two jobs, one full time, one part time and still dropping two videos a week. You just have to have a schedule and be strict on it. With that said, Let's get back to the video. All right, so as promised, we would break down the music theory behind the chord progression I made. So it's actually pretty simple. We are in the key of C sharp major, and I'm doing two major seventh chords. This one right here, the F sharp major seventh chord, and this one over here, the C sharp major seventh chord. So the first chord is F sharp major seventh. So we have a note here on F sharp, skip a note on the scale in place. You always know I say if there's three spaces and then there's two spaces between the next, this is a major chord. If there's two spaces at first and then three spaces, it's a minor chord. And this key, this chord is going to be major. Anyways, skip another note on the scale, place. Three, two, three, major, seventh right here. And then I just strummed it, which you can manually do, or you can go in here and hit Alt S and like bring it out far like that. But I played it on the MIDI. Sometimes just taking the top note and like playing it as a tiny little melody before your next chord sound good. So this one, same thing. We start on C sharp, skipping on the scale, place, skip, place, three spaces, two, 
This is the C sharp major triad. Skip one more, place three again. So two, so three, two, three. This is the C sharp major seventh. And then the last chord over here is actually a minor seventh. D sharp, skip a note, place, skip a note, place, skip one more, place. Now it's the D sharp minor seventh. So one, two, and three. Those are the three chords and then a tiny little bit of melody in between. All right, so as always, appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Every video that you guys show up to watch, I really do appreciate it. All the comments just keep me motivated to keep doing more videos like this but without you guys this wouldn't be possible so i really do mean it i do appreciate you guys so much for watching thank you for supporting this full beat will be uploaded on my spotify link to that in the description if you want to hear it and a link to all my drum kits will be in the description as well new r&b drum kit on the way it's gonna be a crazy drum kit i'm spending a lot of time designing these sounds i want it to be i'm not even gonna say anything but just know it's gonna be crazy but yeah till the next video appreciate you watching peace